Hey everyone, this is Rachelle. Thanks for clicking on the video. And um, today I just wanted to come in with the little issue that I'm having here. And um, it's not a little issue. For me, it is a big issue. Now, when I tell you that I am beyond, beyond upset with what's going on, it is... Um, it is an understatement so let me just tell you what it's about okay and um, I'm pretty sure that there are other women out there um, that can feel what I'm going through they can feel me they they know what I'm talking about so let me let me just get to it so the other night I'm laying here. It's about 3.30 in the morning because uh, I can't sleep at night. Um, so I'm fooling around on YouTube and reading and watching television and doing whatever else I do when I can't sleep. So it gets to the point where I am thirsty. So I say, okay, let me run downstairs, grab me something to drink, maybe get a piece of fruit, and then come upstairs and finish my little nighttime insomnia that I go through. I go downstairs, I uh, cut on the light in the kitchen, and um, when I came down, I had brought uh, the glass that I had been using earlier that had my drink in it. So I'm, you know, juggling my glass, and out the corner of my eye, I see something moving across my kitchen floor now in my kitchen I have white tile so this thing that I see moving you can't miss it child I bent down stupid me bent down I'm like what what in the fuck what what is that it was a bug that was like this big do you see that can you see that it's like this big now I wanted to scream but the neighbors that I have yesterday uh, next door I live in a townhome community the walls are thin and my next door neighbors are some guys and between me and you the one guy is kind of cute and I don't want him to think I'm crazy so I didn't scream I was like oh! you know like oh my god oh my god what is that so I dropped my my cup and then I was like, okay, I got something for your ass. I got something for your ass. So I run back upstairs, um, fumble around in my little utility cabinet, looking for this bug spray that my daughter left from when she went to the went to her little um, Christian camp a few summers ago. I grabbed this bug spray, or what I thought was bug spray. I run downstairs. I'm spraying this shit and it's like foaming up so I look at the bottle and I'm like oh my god this is tub cleaner you know that foaming scrubbing bubbles or whatever that shit is so I drown the motherfucker okay so I stand there look at it it's still kicking so I'm like oh my god so I run up the stairs again and I'm struggling around in my in my utility cabinet again looking for this bug spray because I don't want this bug to um, drag himself away under my stove or under my refrigerator and then show himself you know at a time when I'm not ready for the motherfucker so I run back upstairs now it's dark now I don't cut on lights I'm just running trying to look in the cabinet and find that thing with the you know with the squirter so I grab you know another bottle run down got downstairs almost break my fucking neck run in the kitchen he's still stretched out he done moved a couple inches so I'm spraying and spraying and spraying and again so I'm smelling bleach I'm like what the fuck if they putting bleach in this shit now no, I don't have the bug spray. I got the goddamn shit that you spray on your sink and all that. Another cleaning product. So I stand there, look at the son of a bitch again. Okay, 
Okay, okay. He's still kicking. So this time I run up the stairs again. Finally, get the goddamn bug spray. I made sure this time because I know he kicking. He done flipped over on his back. So he not going anywhere. I run down here. This motherfucker is still moving. So I stand there this time. I spray this son of a bitch again. He like. And I just stand there. Because he blocking my way to the damn refrigerator so I can't get to the refrigerator so eventually he peters out kicking so now I'm standing there I'm like oh shit now I got to get this motherfucker up so I sit down at the table to try to gather myself and I'm like oh my god it's so big I mean it's like it's this big I mean can you see this like this big can you can oh okay this big this how big it was do you see that 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 big so i'm sitting at the table i'm like oh my god what is it is it a uh, is that a roach is it a we don't have shit like that in ohio the only thing i could think that is it rained really bad uh earlier this week and they my neighbors claimed that our back was flooded and there were some streets around where i live at that were flooded so i'm sitting there i'm like oh Shit, I got to get this motherfucker up. So while I'm sitting there, I look over there and then some other little bugs came out. I'm like, what in the freaking frack is this? So these little bugs are like black and I call them creepy crawlers, night crawlers, because they only come out at night. But they, it's like they came out to see what happened to the other one. Now, as they walking through all that shit that I done sprayed all on the floor they killing over <laughs> you know a couple of them will walk out they'll kill over you would think the other motherfuckers that saw them do the death walk wouldn't come out but they did so now i got like six bugs six bugs all around this big bug <sighs> so i'm sitting there i was like i can get the little ones but i i can't fuck with that big one i just can't do it so what I did is so I ain't had to look at it. So I scooped my garbage can over there, made a barrier in front of it so I didn't have to see it. Scooted something else on the side of it. And the only reason why I did that is because I knew my son was going to come over the next day. And, um, you know, he comes take my garbage out and doing little errands for me around the house. And y'all, when I say this... It is the man's job. Excuse me, fellas. I know this is, you know, we supposed to have a women's lib and all this bullshit, but um, it is the man's job to kill the bugs. So I done went through hell. I I got I was able to slide over and get my goddamn pop out the refrigerator and go upstairs. By now, by this time, y'all, I'm like, I'm done. I'm like, I go upstairs, I'm fucked up. The rest of the night, um, every time something touched me, I'm like, ooh, ooh, all night. So the little two or three hours sleep that I normally got was interrupted because I'm scared that some shit going to crawl on me. So I wake up the next day. Now, mind you, I didn't fall asleep till about 7, maybe 7.30. It probably was more like 7.30, maybe 8. So I wake up the next day about 2. And I'm like, oh my God, it is two o'clock. Did, did my son come, you know, and I'm going to have to go down there and, you know, deal with this bug shit that I got on my kitchen, kitchen floor. So I go in there and brush my teeth. I'm trying to prolong it. I brush my teeth. I, I, um, you know, take my little shower, make up my bed, all that vacuum, my bedroom, because I'm sitting here trying to figure out how I'm going to go down there and deal with all these bugs. So I go down the stairs and then as I'm walking through my living room, I can see into my kitchen and I notice that the garbage can that I put up as a barrier is gone. So I'm like, now I hope this motherfucking bug didn't come back to life. And, um, 
you know, push this damn garbage can or some of the other bugs pushed it. But when I got in the kitchen, I realized my son had been there and um, he had, uh, you know, got the bugs up. I guess he came in and saw the, all the mess in the, in the kitchen. Now, what was funny is uh, when I talked to him, he had said that when he came in and he saw all the commotion and all the stuff that was going on in the kitchen because when I dropped my glass, my cup, it had a little bit of red pop in it. So I guess when it splattered on the floor, it looked like blood. So he said when he came in and he saw like all this stuff all over the floor, um, he saw uh, the garbage can moved all out of the, you know, where it goes because I'm real neat. And he knows when he comes in my house, if there's anything, you know, out of place that, you know, for him, this is really unusual. So he said that he had ran upstairs to see if I was okay. And so he said when he got up here, I was snoring like three men. He was like, my I figure you probably was wore out. He said, so I go, he went down in the kitchen. He got everything cleaned up. But this is what's funny. So when I went in the kitchen, I could see like a bug residue on my white tile. So I was like, oh shit. So now I got to mop my kitchen all crazy. So I made a solution with uh, bleach, pine saw, Lysol, Comet, everything that I could think of. Dishwashing liquid, um, washing detergent, everything. This is all that I put in this this mop water. So, and I put, when I tell you I put a whole bunch of bleach in there, I mean, I put so much bleach that I had to throw open every window in my room. I mean, in my house. So, I, um... I mop up the kitchen and like, you know, with, and I had on some gloves that were like up here because I knew that I was going to have to touch that mop. So I got these rubber gloves that come all the way up above my elbow. So I put those on. So while I'm mopping, my son comes back. I guess he came back to check on me. So he comes in and he was like, Ooh, mom, what, what, what are you doing? So I said, what the fuck it look like I'm doing? I'm mopping. You know, he see me with this bucket and all this stuff. So he's standing there and he he was looking at me, shaking his head. And he just busts out laughing. He was like, Ma, he was like, man, I knew when I came back that you was going to be fit to be tied. He said that when I came upstairs, you look wore out. He said, I guess you have been doing battle all night long. I told him I had. I said, this shit is ridiculous. So today, um... I went out to Home Depot and I paid uh, like $14 for some, some bucks, right, y'all? When I tell you I'm about to spray every motherfucker thing in this house, why is it that every fucking summer? Now, this is why I don't really like summer. I was telling it, um, one of my friends, I said, it's not that I don't, you know, enjoy warm weather. I hate all the fucking bugs. Last year, it was moths flying in my room. I couldn't figure out how the son of a bitches was getting in. This year, oh my God, when I tell you that I am seeing bugs that I have never even seen in my life. In my life, I can't take it. I'm going to fuck around one day and go in the kitchen, you know, after dark, and I'm going to have to cut on the light and um, see something running across the floor. And I'm going to be laying there. You know, after having a heart attack, and then the motherfucker gonna crawl on me. Then I'm gonna come to and have another fu fucking heart attack because it's a bug on me. Child, I'm calm now. But I don't like bugs. I, tonight and tomorrow and the rest of the weekend... I am going to be going through my house like my name is Terminex Rachel. Um, and I'm going to be putting down bug spray everywhere. And then when I call my um, the office for my townhome community, these son of a bitches said they're not responsible for uh, extermination. They claim that I'm the only one that's complaining about bugs. I can't believe that because where we live at is kind of like... A lot of trees and wooded areas around us so I can't believe that the fucking bugs is just choosing my damn town home to come in why they not fucking with these men next door 
<sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, I was trying to wait on my son to come and do the spraying in case I ran into some shit or some shit ran out while I was spraying, but, um, uh, I ain't gonna be able to wait. I'm at least have to get the inside, you know, where the places where I normally go during the night, I'm at least have to hit them. And then tomorrow when he comes, he can really hit the rest. But, uh, child, that's all I had to tell y'all. I'm here up in the middle of the night like a motherfucking ninja down there fighting um, fucking bugs. And I'm telling you, when I ran down the stairs, when I tell you I almost tore my motherfucking back loose, I slipped down the last three stairs. I said, you know what, bitch? You better slow the fuck down. You just had spine surgery. You're going to fuck around and you're going to break, break your goddamn back and you're going to be back in the hospital fucked up. Fucking with these damn bugs. All right, y'all. I'm going to get out of here because I got to go get my rubber gloves and get busy because it, ugh, it's just, ugh, ugh, ugh. All right, y'all. Take care and listen to these kids out here fucking with me. Listen to this. There's some young kids outside in front of my door. Don't they know that I don't have small kids? My damn kids are 21 and 29. Get the hell away from my door. I'm going to be the old lady in the neighborhood that's yelling out, get away from my door. All right, y'all. Take care. Thanks for clicking on the video.